Welcome to Pikmin 3 Deluxe! We are finally playing the third installment of Pikmin. And in look at this! Look how look how pretty this is. I'm playing the deluxe version on the Switch. It's just a better it's just a better version. A uh, story mode. How many players? Uh one. I'm by myself. I don't got nobody else here. Nowhere at all. And yeah, we're gonna do a new story. Um we got normal. Hard and ultra spicy. Ultra spicy, you get less Pikmin. I think things take longer to kill. That's just for a little bit harder thing. Some items are missing. And normal, it's just normal. It's just the normal part of the game. I'm going to do normal for this. But if you guys ever want me to play this game again, but I'm like ultra spicy, please let me know. And I will. Oh, wow. Kopai. Ah, uh, what a good, what a good name. Oh, yep, they're just, they're just killing themselves. It's like that what the big purple guy said. Half the universe. I actually don't know what he says. What, what's one of his quotes? I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna kill you. I'm going to enjoy it. That kind of just ruins his character arc. I remember that one. Fruitless, uh, that sucks. Just as they're about to give up. Oh. The final vessel reports there it is, yeah! Miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet. Wait, listen. They named PNF 404. Did you hear that little, that little, like, walking sound effect? When they were going around the moon? Uh, that, that is a reference to something. I wonder if you guys know it. It's the Mario game where they're in the the tunnels, and then you you have to knock, you have to jump underneath a uh, planet or some or not a planet, uh, Koopa. That's what it's called. The original. It's I think it's just called Mario Bros. That, I think that's what the game's called. And I wonder what's gonna happen here. Yep. Every time, it's every time. Don't ever forget it. Don't. Every time you try landing here, something goes horribly wrong. I wonder why. It's almost like there's something trying to keep them down there. Could it be the water wraith? Could it be the Gulix? I don't know. Exploration day, day one, 8.44 a.m. Charlie's landing site. Ugh. What happened? I'm gonna give him the Markiplier voice. I feel like he, this guy would have the Markiplier voice. Ugh, Chica. Oh. I hope Mark doesn't like hunt me down, get all of his fans to shoot at me or something. That'd be terrible. I'm sorry, Mark. It's just it's just a game. Please, it's not. It's nothing against you. I love you. Okay, don't. Please don't attack me. Ugh, where am I? The last thing I remember was, of course, this must be Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, Char Charlie, uh, Mark to ship, Mark to ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I'm not. That's not even Markiplier's voice anymore. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? No, response. No, no response. My ship is my crew. My God, <laughs> Captain Charlie. I wasn't even doing Mark's voice for half that fucking <laughs> narration. I managed to escape unscathed. I managed to escape unscathed, but about the rest of my crew, they could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany, and I only hope they survived. Don't worry. Yeah, I can move around. Oh yeah, and they in the deluxe they they give you hints, but like, yeah, you don't really need them. It's kind of straightforward. Walk over here, and guess what you find. You find a whole bunch of yellows! Surprisingly, yellows are the first Pikmin you find. Never in the other games it was always reds. But now it's yellows. And it's cool. I like the yellows. Why are they coming closer? Let me try using my whistle. Oh, amazing. What if I throw them at this? Also, when you're doing this part, make sure you don't throw them everywhere. Because the cutscene doesn't end until like... They all destroy their mushrooms. 
So watch out for that. They don't appear hostile. So let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at B. Wow. Press B. Oh. Come here. Come here, you little guy. I shall name you Chica. You will be Chica. And you will be Chica. They're all Chica. Alright, that's enough slander. And we're gonna just... You gotta throw them on the mushrooms and look at that. Kabuyu! They destroy them all. And I, I, I'm not gonna let them destroy everything. And you go over here, bank! You get 30. And then, you know... Uh, you gotta just throw them on here. Just throw them on the mushrooms, have them destroy them. Just look at that. Come on. Come on! Yeah, look at that. Come here, guys. We're going forwards. We're going to this really scary ice cave. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. We're, we're gonna we're gonna be all safe and sound. You don't have to worry. These guys sure are dedicated. Man, this game is so pretty. Like, Pikmin 3 really went all out for it's like the way it looks. Oh, I forgot what you called that. It's visual effect visuals. Yeah, they went for all four visuals. It's really nice. <sighs> what? Where? Where? Oh. <laughs> oh man, I am I'm so sorry. Exploration day 1. 8:46 a.m. Alf's crash site. So this is 2 minutes later. I don't know why he fell 2 minutes. <laughs> it took him 2 minutes to fall. And oh. There's a ship. Those <laughs> why did Charlie fall so much faster than the other guys? That doesn't add up. Uh, come on. Yeah, Alf, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get up, man. It's a miracle. I'm alive. And somehow unarmed. Yeah, but you gotta get up. Yeah, wake up, dude. Yeah, Alf. He's the, uh... The engineer, I think? For the SS Drake? Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other team team members, as well as the ship. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Yeah. You know what? You know what? You want to know something? Captains. Only two of them are captains. Everyone says these characters, like, oh, there's the captains. Like, it's like, oh, let me switch to this guy. Alf's not a captain. Neither is Louie. It's... Olimar and uh, Charlie, they're the only captains. But, like, it, they sound good, okay? They sound fantastic. And I love it. So, they're gonna be called captains. It appears the, spec the specimen I just spotted has company. Yeah, look. Yum yum, look at that. Look at that delicious piece of fruit that we're trying to find. What's that stuck on the branch? Or, in the branch? In? Stuck in the branch? I don't... I Am I stupid? I would it be considered on the branch? What's that stuck on the branch? Not stuck in the branch. Oh, and if you guys haven't noticed already, this is the onion. They completely changed its design. It is, frankly, I prefer the originals, but oh well, it's nothing I can do. I prefer the originals. I mean, it's okay. These new designs are all right. But I'm more for the original, okay? That's just me. And then we're gonna throw them on here. And oh wow, we gotta have them build a bridge. And there's a secret Pikmin over here, in case you guys needed to know. We're gonna throw them on there, just nice and easy. Then we're gonna grab them, throw them over there. Look at that, just speed. And what is, what is that thing over there? Oh my god, it's a Wii U! I've been looking for that shit. I actually have a Wii U right here. Here, get here. You guys want to hear it? I have it in my hands right now. Oh, sorry. The art stick's sticky. Oh my god, it's covered in dust. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Wii U. Ah, oh. yeah. Oh man, I I love the Wii U. I don't know why people didn't like it. It was a good. It was a good console. Yeah, you want to know why I failed? It's quite simple. The marketing team fucking sucked dyke. 
I don't want to. I can't say a swear. I think I just said a swear. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Who cares? See, I just said it there. It doesn't matter. And we're going to grab these guys, throw them over there. And this is going to take a little while. So there's a way to speed up. You walk behind the Pikmin. You can have them. Come here. And we're going to throw you this way. If you walk behind them, you can have you can push them and they they go a little bit faster. But like that's about it. And also, if you guys look over here, yeah, look at that right there. Zoom in. Look at that a little Pikmin. It's a little red guy holding a or praising a little red pellet. In the original game, in the original Pikmin Three, there was something you had to do with it. Oh wait! Oh my God! I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. That's that's something else. That you can get. Hold on. Let me show you guys real quick. Uh, hints, not hints. Badges. In deluxe, you get badges. And there, there it is. Hey, there's the icon right there. Yeah, you. If you find all of them, you get. There's only five of them apparently. But if you find them, there you go. You got yourself all of them. And then there's all this and shit. I got all the badges because I, I know my I know my things. But that's a little side thing you can do. It's really it's actually quite fun. I'm not gonna lie. I had fun doing those badges. And yeah, we got our Wii U tablet. And now we can go on our little mini map. Uh use the stick. Yep, yep, use it. Yeah, use it. And there's the Drake. The, ah, the SS Drake, isn't that, that's not far from there. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'm best in the direction. All right, Alf, sure. Sure. Now we can do things. Yep. Don't worry, Alf, I got you. I got you, man. Uh, can you, can you grab onto that? Thing? What is this red stuff? It's not, ah, you hit him. Hit that thing. Beat his ass. Beat its ass. Thank you. Oh my God, Alf, yeah, get that. There you go, Alf. I fuck him up. Oh, sh I, I'm bouncing. I'm bouncing. Oh, hey. We got the little... We got the pellets up there already. Oh, that is a lot. Really? I mean, I guess it was three pellets. Okay. What? They're sprouting out of it? Yes. Yes, Alf. Surprisingly, yes. They, they do that. I know they haven't been on this planet before, but come on. They're awesome. And let's do this. Bonk. We got the reds. Even though we already had them. I don't know why they're showing the intro after plucking them. Ah, I see. So, how, is how this little creature is progate. Prograte? Pro. Wait, propagate? What the fuck is that word? Hold on. Propagate. Propagate. Multiply. Is that how they multiply? Incre incre incredible and this is a cool thing that they added in this game you you click once it auto plucks it is so handy i am so happy that they actually add that in the game it it's just fantastic it makes me it just makes me so happy it really does it makes me happy knowing that i can do that now and this takes uh that many I'm only gonna put a few of them on there, cause the rest I want to put uh, on these on these things. By the way, these things are called sheer grubs. Th these are the female ones. If you don't know them already, females don't bite; they don't attack. The males do, and they distinguish from males from females. The males are black, have black bodies, and they have purple heads, and they got big ass pinchers. Uh, if you throw a Pikmin on top of them, they just kill them instantly. And also, we didn't we didn't show that part yet. But if you press X, it charges your Pikmin. You I couldn't do it in the tutorial, so you know, I couldn't show that there. But this is also something: as a Pikmin's in the ground, you can just instant pluck them. You don't have to wait for them to grow. And I love that feature so much in this game. I I love it. It's such a good. I don't understand why they never did it beforehand. Pikmin one had it the worst. Man, that that shit was that took I think it took at least like 15 seconds just to get one Pikmin out of the ground or wait for them to pop out it is terrible and we got the box and we got a little yellow notes what's that are you gonna run to it oh look at the little guy it looks like someone left a data file here perhaps the, the copad will be able to read it 
Yeah, hey. And we're gonna pick love or picknology picknology. Uh, whatever. Number one, the onion is a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives, it also gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Yes, it is. Excellent. The co-pad can read the data file, so this creature is called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the copies notes. And we are gonna install it. <laughs> I'd love the sound effects in this game. Mm-hmm. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? Could they? Could there be another intelligent life form on this planet? Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? We're just gonna run through here real quick. Go over here. According to the radar, the Drake should be over here. They should. And there's another one. Using the radar, you can use the compass. You don't really need the compass. You really don't. And these are big ass mushrooms. And we got ourselves. These are the walls in the game. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? I I don't think anyone did. I actually, yeah, who did build that? Doesn't add up. But like, they changed the walls from like the cool, like, white, like, bone looking things to just ju normal, like, sand. It's like, it's, like, it's just a sand wall. Which is fine. I mean, I don't mind. I personally don't care what kind it is. It's just cool, okay? And, uh, ooh. Yay! We found the Drake! There it is! The SS Drake! Yes, let's, let, let's do a little penguin waddle. The copad isn't picking up any li signs of life in the immediate area. Aw, oh, what am I supposed to do now? <gasps> what is what's that look? Incoming transmission. Who could be it? Who could it be? Hey, it's Alf. It's me, Brittany. Do you need? Do you copy? Yeah, I do. Thank goodness. Ah, you're with the SS Drake, right? I I am, or he is. I'm not there. I mean, it's through the landing in one. I made it through the landing in one piece, but this thing, I'm trapped somewhere. Oh, that sucks. And I'm starved! Okay, oh wow. Oh no, we cut off! I wonder what how far Brittany is. Oh man, wouldn't it be fucking creepy? Like, you found her corpse, like, rotting? Oh, fuck that noise. <laughs> what is that strange noise? I don't know, Alf, but get the- We gotta get the fuck out of here. The sun is setting, which could mean nocturnal predators. It starts to wake up. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Yeah. As you are saying this, you could be out of here. Yeah, go in. Whoop. Hell yeah, let's fly off, fly. Dude, you gotta fly. Is there anything? No creatures? Nope. Looks like we're, we're in the clear. That's all that matters. And look at that. Oh, we're flying away. Isn't that pretty? That that background was actually really nice. Oh, with the purples and pinks. Oh man. And then it's all black with the little white stars. Most of the supplies we brought from Kopai was destroyed in the crash landing. So we are now only three days worth of edible. Pro oh wow. Yeah, we got three days until we die, <laughs> unless we find food. And the odds of us finding food is not very good. It's really not. Standing tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Or, we can eat the other people. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, use the radar. Review the replay with the clock turn thing to fine-tune your strategy. Yeah, so if you click this, the... Okay. Well, thanks. That That's what... Okay, cool. That That's 100% what I wanted to do. That's just great. My controller, man, I, I keep forgetting if you flick it, it just goes back. I, ugh. It, it, it's, <laughs> I was supposed to go check that for you guys. We'll do it in, we'll do it in the next one, okay? Uh, we're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be able to go anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and I will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. 
Odd, but amazing. Alf. You gotta admit, I am getting so good at reading that. Come on. Come on, guys, please. Comment down below that I'm not a soy boy. Or whatever that means. What what does that mean? I actually don't know what that means. Soy boy. I hear, I hear that all the time. I don't know what that actually means, so... Yeah, don't don't call me that. I, in case, like, it's something very bad. It actually might... It could be, like, one of the worst things you could possibly say. But I, I, I don't know better, so don't hurt me, please. I lose my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just lose everything. That would suck. I track down Brittany's signal right now. Finding her is our is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us to back to Hulk. Or Hulk I I am I am not doing so good. After just talking about I was doing so good. All right. Well, that was that was day one. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please click that button down there. Which button? You decide. I don't care. I'm just providing you entertainment. That's my whole purpose. But in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Garden of Hope. Ah, yes. The Garden of Hope. You got the Forest of Hope. The Forest... Uh, wait. The Awakening Woods. That's what it's called. Garden of Hope. Awakening, of, Awakening Woods. And Forest... And Garden of Hope. Garden... Forest. You you know what I'm talking about. But in the next one, we're going to be going through the Garden of Hope. Hopefully find Brittany. And find food so we don't starve to death. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Later.